What do you know about Mustafa's story? He's a pretty good mechanic, that's about all I know. Do you know anything? Not really. Where, where did you come from? I think you did tell me you're from Afghanistan? Afghanistan. Afghanistan. Yeah, that's kind of about, about it. I first began meeting former asylum seekers through previous films I've made. Each has their own story, and as we got to know each other, some agreed to let me film them. I have to work six days a week, or sometimes seven days a week. Everyone loves that ball. I decided to pull out the old pool and put in a new one. I want the pyramids against the wall and all that. I don't know who's going to do that. And then she says, well, we can do it. I said, what do you mean you can do it? And they told me about it and went, right, you're in, yeah? Uh, hi, this is Rehana. It was very hard for me to find a job. If I stay at home, I'm just feeling depressed. I think I'm one of the fussiest painters. I'm learning to destroy. She's always wanted to be a truck driver. But she could be a taxi driver. Mm. No, no, that taxi is smooth. I do my best to be a trusted real estate agent. It's probably one of my parents' dreams and myself too, you know, getting to university was such a huge deal for us. It took me a long while to accept that there would be no bombing soon. There would be no airplane throwing missiles on my head. This is something that everybody deserves to have. This is umbrella, shelter, you know, our place to call it home. There was 200 people squished in this little blue-coloured boat. Then the Australian Navy came and rescued us. But it was disappointing <laughs> when we actually reached Womera. Detention centre, they will feed you, but they will take away that very right to be a child. The things I saw, people trying to hurt themselves, causing harm to themselves, they will forever be there. When I go back and remember every single day, every single week, month, year, I still can't believe that it happened to me. We were so happy to be out of the detention centre, but the law said that I would never become a permanent resident here. A lot of bad things happened to my life, or a lot of hardship that I have. I'm trying to forget it. Oh, I don't want to forget that. Uh, I want to be able to tell my kids all that story I've been through so they know where their dads come from. This is liberation for me.